Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Um, we're heading into the... This balloon will take you to a land closer to the sorcerer, Spyro. You can also use it to come back here whenever you want to. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I didn't want to talk to you. Sorry, Sheila. <laughs> but we're heading into the boss. Um, and we're heading to Midday Gardens, which is World 2. Uh, it's just me today, and I'm going to be quiet for this cutscene. Just because... Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, your highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster, and eliminate him. Uh... Kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him! Okay, let's see what we got here. This ought to do it. You, come here! <laughs> so there's our first boss, which is actually kind of a joke, and you'll see once we get into it. But uh, yeah, it's just me today. Um, I know the last few videos have been... And there's gonna be more dialogue. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. So, if I can finally talk now, um, I know the last few uh, episodes have been all, like, uh, go commentaries, but I, I kind of just want to do um, a video by myself or a few videos. We'll probably go back to the go commentary soon, but uh, yeah, sometimes I, I like. I don't know. It's 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 a it's a weird thing. Like my let's plays, uh, like I talk to myself a lot, and I feel like sometimes I I I I feel the need to do that. If that makes any sense? I don't know. I mean, I love the co commentaries. I definitely I definitely enjoy them a lot. Um, yesterday I recorded uh, a few episodes with my girlfriend, which well you've already seen them by now, but. Uh, so far, I've only, I only have one video up, so don't know how you guys are gonna react to those. And I hope you like them, cause I, I like recording with her. I've been trying to ask her for a while, and we just never really got to it. And we finally recorded something together, so I'm happy with that. But I, I guess we can talk about this boss now. Holy crap! <laughs> I mean. This this is the only attack that can kind of hit you if you're not careful, because he he tends to get really close. But okay, he's not doing his other move yet. Once he goes into his last phase, well, actually, once once he goes into his last phase, it becomes even easier. So, and when he surrounds himself by that fire with a fire shield, it's it's really easy to. Uh, like, if you know the timing to it, it's really easy to hit him. Like, this fight doesn't get harder, it just gets easier, if you know what you're doing. And I just knocked him right back into the lava, that was great. And let's just go around in circles. Try to make, like, really small circles, because sometimes if you, if you try to make big circles, he will still hit you anyway, even if you're running. And you can really see it very well, but uh, yeah, he's spitting fire right now. But it doesn't matter, because he's already done. That went so fast that I forgot to bring up this guy's name. I think his name is Buzz, I'm pretty sure. Oh well, who cares, he's gone now. <laughs> and that means we are done with World 1. Sort of. Um, there is something else that we can do. But first off, we're going to um, going to head into the next world here, Midday Gardens, or Midday Garden, not Midday Gardens. 
And that reminds me, I never really brought up the name of the, the first world, did I? Sunrise Spring. In this game, they have a thing with naming their worlds after times of the day. Uh, and with the first one, since it's called Sunrise Spring, I imagine the spring is like, you know, a spring with water. But it could also be a reference to Spyro 2, which was based on the seasons, and it was kind of missing the spring season, so... I don't know. Spyro, I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. So this is what they added to Spyro 3 that you can do after you beat the boss of a world. You can go back and... You can enter a, a bonus level which you, in which you get to play as Sparks, which I, I think is pretty awesome. Um, they're usually really short levels. But they're really fun. Hello, Sparks. Maybe before you take on the nasty crawdads, I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. Press the circle button to shoot these targets. And there she goes again with the tutorials. Oh well. I guess we're used to it by now, but yeah, it's it's this is just a tutorial level. You can also move quickly by charging like Spyro. To charge, hold down the square button. Use your charge to chase down this fast enemy. And I don't really know why she teaches you that, because you never really have to use this. Or at least I don't remember having to ever use that move. Well, I use it all the time to just move faster, but not really. Now for the hard part. Being a maneuverable dragonfly, you can also slide in any direction. To slide, hold down the L1 or R1 button. Then move with the analog stick or directional button. Try sliding up and down to hit the targets in this room. This is probably the most useful move uh, Sparks gets. You can kind of strafe and just hit these guys. On your travels, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the Dragon Worlds. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power-up butterfly, and then press the X button to use that power-up. Your power-up is shown in the top right of the screen. Yeah, yeah. And now we have some kind of spread fire. I really like these power-ups that they give you. And we're gonna get another one. I don't know why you get a refill. I guess they... Really? You'll be able to deal with these guys. Really? Okay. That happens. <laughs> I guess you can't get hit in this in this tutorial level, huh? Okay, you just need to get out of here because you're getting on my nerves. Looks like you're ready, Sparks. If you need any more help, just choose the help option from the pause menu. You could have told me that in the first place instead of giving me a whole tutorial, but oh well. <laughs> so yeah, now we're in the actual um, in the actual level here. And this is basically what uh, the levels that Sparks does are gonna be- Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, 25 gems. This is basically what the levels that Sparks does are gonna look like. It's basically like a... I don't know what to compare it to. Like a... I don't know. Is it a, a shoot -em out or something? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, we got this red key over here. If we can find a red door, that would be nice. And I think those, yeah, those guys are... You're not gonna be able to get rid of those guys, because that thing, that box that's spawning them, there's a force field around them, so... We just, we're just gonna have to go this way for now. Gonna take out these boxes, though. Probably take out these guys. And my power-up is gonna run out, but that's okay, because we have another one right here. And a green key. I'm pretty sure every time you get a key, your progress gets saved too if you if you die. Um, we do have a health bar. Uh, is health wor doesn't work doesn't work the same way it does in the Dragon Worlds. Um, but I, actually, he kind of has double the health. So with yeah, as you can see, I got hit twice there, and I'm still blue. I don't even know what I was trying to do there, or why I'm trying to... Well, I'm trying to get that power-up butterfly, because that's actually a pretty useful one, but... I guess I shouldn't waste time with it. Oh. Okay, we have the, the rockets. 
And once I find a good spot to use them, I'll show them off. If I can find if I can ever find a green door, jeez. And there we go. They they pretty much kill the big enemies in one shot. And here we have some invincibility, so now we can just charge through these guys. Don't try to charge through them normally, unlike what Zoe tells you, because it won't work. You'll just end up hurting yourself if you do. And I believe if we hit this button, we not only turn off that force field, but also the force field in the main room, so... Oh, this power-up I really like. Um... It works really well on big groups of enemies. Um, basically... Let's see if I can show it off. Can I have a, a nice big group of enemies here? If you shoot one, it basically bounces off into... Uh, into multiple directions and you... It, it bounces off in the direction of the other one, so it's like... See, it, it, it's, it's really, it's really good. I like. It's probably my favorite power-up. And uh, I'm pretty sure we've seen all of the power-ups now, so... You just need to get out of here. Oh. Get these guys out of here. I kind of want to save my power-ups for the, the boss. Every, si every single one of these levels has a boss, so... And we're actually coming up on it right now. It's right here. But before we take on the, this boss, let me grab these gems first. And here he is! Oh, I'm getting too close. If you do this smart, he can't actually hit you. Like, if you just keep strafing, this is probably his hardest phase. And now just stand right in front of him and just keep shooting and he'll never be able to hit you. It's a really cheap way to beat this guy, but uh... And I think even in this phase, when he starts... Okay, I guess he can hit you in this phase then. But it doesn't matter, because we already beat him. We got the egg. Which there is only one of. And then there's 200 gems, and I'm pretty sure we got all of those too. So, yep. We completed the first Sparks level here. So, we can get out of here now. And claim our reward for beating it. work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. Yep, Sparks gains special abilities once you uh, complete these levels. And she says it's only Sparks can pick up gems uh, from further away, but I think he can also pick them up faster. If memory serves. So, um... Yeah, with that, we're done with World 1 for right now, so, uh, next time we'll head into Midday Gardens and we'll start there. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.